Are you part of a nonprofit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, welcome to a special sneak peek of our new series here in Boston Wrestling. We're talking about memories and legends. The gentleman I'm here with right now, a man that almost doesn't even need an introduction, perhaps the Michael Buffer of professional wrestling before he actually worked with Michael Buffer, the one and only Gary Michael Capetta. Gary, a pleasure to have you back here once again. Thank you very much. I love, I love being here. Everybody's so nice. Thursday, October the 12th is the date. It's the debut of our Memories and Legends series. We don't want to let too much out yet. We're going to have some great topics. This is going to be a show for professional wrestling fans. If you want to get in that zone where you sit back, you hear some great stories, you remember the proverbial good old days, you almost forget about what's on TV nowadays. That's the type of theme we want to go with, not to knock what's going on in 2017, but there are a lot of fans that prefer yesteryear. And we want to bring that, some of that to light with some of the great guests we have coming on the show. That sounds great. I'm ready. Gary, <coughs> October the 12th, we go live with Memories and Legends, but unfortunately, we wanted to pay a, a tribute to a gentleman that we lost on October the 3rd. Uh, he was certainly, I don't think in a legend is a strong enough term for the way he resonated with the community in Memphis. We're talking about Lance Russell, who joined you in WCW in 1989. Yeah, Lance was um, kind. He was a very kind man. He was a very patient man. Um, I worked mostly with him. Um, when we were with WCW, he was in charge of the 900 number. Really? Remember the 900 yeah, numbers? I do. I do. 909, yeah. 9900, I think, right? And there you go. And I did a segment which was on the road with GMC. Really? Yeah, because I was at all the live events. And um, I actually did it at home with sound effects. <laughs> Oh, you did the report from home? Yeah, I did. Oh, really? Okay. I, 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 I constructed it at home. So therefore, I had deadlines to meet. And I, always, I wasn't always great with my deadlines because mm -hmm. I, I wanted it to be perfect. And Lance was very patient. Um, probably my favorite memory of Lance has to do with uh, the relationship that he had, the loving relationship that he had with his wife, and Gordon Soley and Smokey, who was Gordon's wife. Because the two couples got along so well that they would go on vacation together. Really? Yeah. So when they would pull in for a TV, you never knew where they were coming from. They would drive across the country together and uh, talk about two legends, you know, right. behind the mic. Um, yeah, Lance was just, anything you wanted to know, Lance would be helpful. If it was anything you didn't want anyone else to know, you could trust Lance. Um, yeah, I, I have very, very fond memories of a very easygoing, kind of, for me, uncle kind of guy, you know, that you could confide in and trust. And he never, he never judged. He never, he never would judge you. He was uh, one of a kind. You and I, we're Northeast guys, so to speak. Mm -hmm. We weren't immersed in Memphis wrestling, what it was. We're not a, a little run for several decades on the local network television down there. Some of the highest rated programming in the country of television of any kind. Absolutely. Uh, Lance Russell was part of the extended family when you put on that television set every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Yes, and even though I wasn't exposed to it like you weren't growing up in the Northeast, it makes a lot of sense to me because he was the antithesis of the craziness. And Memphis was a very crazy promotion. They did a, a lot of outlandish things. And he was just the opposite of what was going on around him. So the more genteel that he was, the, and he was sincerely a gentleman, the crazier everything else looked. So yeah, I mean, he was, he was perfect for that role. He brought the calming presence to a world of insanity. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Well, Lance Russell, certainly, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Russell family. He had a very uh, healthy, 
unique life, 91 years of age, we can only hope to make it that long as well as he did. He was still getting out at meet and greets and fan fests and cauliflower alley clubs until recent times, so yeah. it wasn't a painful experience. And he's smiling at us yeah. from above and behind his mic. I can hear him. You can hear him? I can hear him. Gary, you got good hearing, brother. I he's need there. the hearing aid. He's there. He'll always be there. All right, fans, we wanted to pay tribute to Lance. It's always important to me uh, that we pay tribute to the veterans and the legends of the sport, even if they weren't a household name uh, when they pass on. But Lance Russell, certainly in Tennessee, was a household name far on the spectrum of professional wrestling. If you owned a television in Tennessee, you knew who Lance Russell was. Fans, I implore you to join us Thursday night, October the 12th. We've got some great news coming on our new Memories and Legends series. I'm very happy to have Gary Michael Capetto with us. Uh, on the 12th and for uh, several episodes, I'm hearing rumors. You've heard rumors? Uh, you know, you know, people like to talk in this day and age <laughs> with social media. Yeah, yeah. All right. When you want me, I'll be here. Hey, you know, I can't do better than that. Fans, thank you for joining us for this tribute to Lance. We look forward to seeing you Thursday night, October the 12th, Memories and Legends. You and yours be well. I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to let you know how we can help you put the fun into fundraising for your nonprofit organization. Experience the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation live in your city throughout New England, the tri-state area, down through the Carolinas, out to our friends in the Midwest and beyond. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner to work with every step of the way. The MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size, from our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls. We've presented live events everywhere and anywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple. Keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow to your town. Not for a wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph, pose photo opportunities, Q&A sessions, and so much more. It's the best of sports and entertainment. The week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and greet reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of any age from 5 to 95. This fall is part of our new Kids Club program. We offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far on our local television offerings and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platforms. Your success is our success. If your group had enough of candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base bringing the nwf experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom made event that you'll want to bring back year after year to your community don't just take it from us here are the folks we've teamed up with in the past 